we just got off the Boeing conference call and Boeing went through exactly what the problem was on the 787 that will delay first flight and potentially delay entry into service and future deliveries. So I'm just going to want to take you through what we understand now about the technical aspects of this problem. Okay, you have the wing section, which section 12, made by Mitsubishi. And you have the center wing box, which is a combination of section 45 and section 11, made by Fuji and Kawasaki. The section sections in question uh, relate to where the wing meets the center wing box and that side of body area. It's our understanding that it is uh, an impact affected right on the, the top side of the side of body where the wing meets the center wing box. Essentially, Boeing went through testing over the last two months on the static uh, aircraft, which is uh, designated ZY-997, just as the first airplane is designated ZA-001. So on that uh, aircraft, they were flexing the wings and they found that the area wasn't holding the loads that they needed to, otherwise known as it actually sustained some damage uh, when the wings were, were flexed. They did further study as to whether or not that they could actually go fly. They said, yes, we can fly ZA-001 first flight, but it won't be that productive. So what we have now is Boeing saying, we have uh, a problem that needs to be addressed uh, and the fix needs to be identified. They say it will either be titanium or aluminum, and they say it will add some weight. They're not sure how much, but they say it will probably be negligible on performance. But right now, uh, we'll know in several weeks uh, where the schedule stands, what it all means for, for flight test, what it all means for the first delivery, what it all means for entry into service with ANA and all of the other, other 55 customers that have, that have ordered this airplane, and really where things go from here. So stay tuned. We'll definitely have more for you.